Hey guys, here we are again with another story. Today I'm going to be starting a new series called The Runaway Pony by from Pony Pals by Jean Betancourt. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, I don't know. Chapter 1, Strangles. Lulu leaned against the fence and watched her pony, Snow White, standing in the field. Snow White was sick. The beautiful pony had a scruffy nose, a bad cough, and a fever. Lulu wondered when her pony would be better. Dr. Crandall had been treating Snow White for two weeks. He explained that Snow White had strangles, a contagious disease. Poor Snow White had to stay at the Baxter stable where there were no other animals. Lulu felt badly for Snow White, that Snow White had to be separated from the other ponies while she was sick. Lulu knew how much Snow White disliked being alone. The sun was setting, and it was time to bring Snow White in for the night. Come on, Snow White. I cleaned out your stall. Let's go, Lulu called. When Snow White saw Lulu coming toward her with a lead rope, she ran in the other direction. Lulu put the lead rope behind her back and held out an apple in her other hand. Snow White saw the apple and walked over to Lulu. As Snow White ate the apple, Lulu clipped the lead rope on the halter. I'm sorry I tricked you, she said, but it's for your own good. Lulu led Snow White into the stable while Lulu brushed Snow White. The pony looked through the open door to the field and whinnied. You miss your pals, Acorn and Lightning, Lulu said. Snow White nudged Lulu on the shoulder. I know how you feel. When I had strapped out, I couldn't see any of my friends either. Lulu added clean bedding to the stall. Piled high in the hay rack. And put two handfuls of oats in the feed bucket. While Snow White ate, Lulu read the pony care chart. Dr. Crandall had visited Snow White that day and written out on the chart. Lulu read his entry. Friday, 10 a.m., Lungs clearing, no fever, last dose, penicillin, can go home in two days. Dr. C. Snow White, you're coming home, Lulu shouted happily. Lulu added her entry to the pony care chart. Friday, 5.30 p.m., half hour outdoors, more energy than yesterday, did not want to come inside, ate two handfuls of oats, Lulu. A horn honked. Lulu looked at her watch and knew it was Pam's mo mother. Dr. Cran sorry, Mrs. Crandall was driving the Pony Pals to the, uh, the movie theater in Milltown. Lulu put on her backpack and said goodbye to Snow White. While Snow White started to nicker and stomp around her, uh, her stall, Snow White had never done that when Lulu was leaving her. I know you don't want to be alone, Snow White. Lulu said. But you'll be coming home soon. Snow White nickered again. Lulu wondered if she should stay with Snow White, but she really wanted to see the movie. The Pony Pals had talked about going all week. The horn honked again. I've got to go, Lulu told Snow White, and kissed, or Lulu kissed the pony on her soft cheek. See you tomorrow, she said. As Lulu ran across the frozen field to the car, she heard Snow White whinnying sadly. The pony seemed to be calling out to Lulu. Don't leave me. Lulu opened the door to the Crandall station wagon and climbed into the back seat with her friends. Snow White. How's Snow White? Pam and Anna asked as the, at the same time. She's almost perfect again, Lulu said. My dad said she, she can come home on Sunday, said Pam. We're lucky the other ponies didn't catch it, Pam's mother said as she drove down Lilac Lane. Strangles can be very serious. It's so great that Snow White is coming home. Pretty soon, Art said, Anna said. Pretty soon we'll all be trail riding again, said Pam. I am so sorry. I could not keep those voices straight for anything. <laughs> I hope so, Lou said. But all she could think about was Snow White's sad whinnies. I think that's where I'm going to stop for today, guys. Hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. It's, uh, it might be interesting. I don't know. See you next time with another story. Bye.